Ah. Oh, hang on, that looks like off. Someone creeping up on us. Now where should I put them? Uh, where do I put my other glove? Under your arm here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday it was in my pocket, or the other day it was under <laughs> this arm. What is, are you saying? What should I do with them containers that I mixed the part brush in? Oh. No, please no. Five, six, no. no. I knew that was going. Well, I guess uh, after it's dry, then go in the regular garbage. Yeah. Well, I'll just leave my door there until the morning. Okay. Did you show the friends what you got today? <laughs> Oh, seven up. Seven up zero. Artificial sweetener is no good for you, but neither is sugar when you're a borderline diabetic. So, yeah, cheers. Here we go. Uh, oh, you turned it on. That's what I said. He just said. Oh. Yeah, okay. Yep. Well, okay, anyway, I'll be working. Yeah. <laughs> he doesn't usually go right by, does he? Sounds like getting a little light. Maybe it's just the. Uh, Sign of the times because of the you know what virus so prevalent, so many cases. Anyway, yeah, it didn't sound very good either. Huh? Well, I don't know what it regularly sounded like, so sound like a normal truck. <laughs> <laughs> and there's lots of trucks that sound loud, and you say, Well, that's made to sound like that. Well, that's a different sound. Uh -huh. That's a motor sound. Oh. I told my boy here a month ago, you know, it's not for sale. <laughs> <laughs> motor goes, you can't use mine. So would you. Yep. We could already buy one for 1200 No, 12000 No, how much was it? And it needed a motor. I forget. 1200 you said. Did I? It might have been 12000 though. I don't know now, a while ago. So I'm going to get Richie a soup ready, and he's going to come over at 1 o'clock and heat it up, put it in his thermos, and... Come back over here until time to go to work. Hmm. Nice sitting here in the sun. I was almost, a couple times, I was almost ready to take this orange jacket off, but... It's easier to carry stuff on your back than it is to carry stuff in your arm or your hands. Unless it's way too hot. Yeah, well, if it was way too hot, I'd put it around my waist, I guess, tie it around my waist. No ducks or geese again today. Two flew over here yesterday after you left. After I left, the little devils. They've done that two or three times now. And they're low, too. They just don't go over when you're here. One of these times you'll get them. One of these times I'll be outside over there and I'll hear them. They were geese. I have heard them a couple times, but they're not in my vision anywhere. But if I'm sitting there on the deck or in the screen room and I hear them, I can... Because I don't hear them when I'm in the house. And if you went to call me, they'd be already gone over before, by the time you got oh, me on yeah. the phone. They don't stop me for you. <laughs> I was watching some new guy last night. But I can't continue watching him because he does something and then he he flips on and the music is just blaring. You got to turn it down. When he comes talking, you got to turn it back up and down and down. And I can't, I can't handle that. So I wanted to keep on watching him. He's a a young feller in his mid thirties, I think. He's uh, he has something wrong. I don't know with his wrist, and they put in some kind of an artificial wrist in there. So he doesn't have much use of his hand. And he's got a metal detector and if you put it close to it, it'll start beep, 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 beep. And uh, he's a and because of all that pain that he has from 
his hand and his arm and that he they had him on uh, pain medications and he got addicted to it so he's four months from having any pain pills trying to uh -huh. detox anyway but he one of the scenes see there was a whole bunch of he, um, a whole bunch of swans and ducks and there was a one Canada goose I saw I think he's in the uh, England but I can't keep watching that that's too aggravating the music blares and annoys me and it scares the cats and Gee. young fella living in a van he converted the back of his van mm -hmm. with a girlfriend and the crows yeah, they're always flying around here. Off in the distance, there was two in the pit there the other day, the other morning. They don't usually land on the ground around when I'm seeing them. They're usually flying or in the tree. I don't know what they were after over there in the pit. No. Whenever your break's done. It's time to say, I got my watch on. 25 to 12. Got my watch on right today, people, not upside down. <laughs> 25 to 11. Oh, it'll be time to get my brunch when I go home. Oh, yum, 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 yum. No, it's after 25 to 11. You sure that's upside down? <laughs> I mean, right? <laughs> Very funny. 10 to 11 for small. It was 25 to 12, that's why. I haven't put my glasses on. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> knew there would be something wrong somewhere. So, anyway, I'll uh, go over and get myself something to eat. But you're going to need a pork chop. Time to eat! You know, uh, what was his name? Rick. Rick Mananis. Time to eat. We used to watch him eat. That's long before I got my... Say Rick with bananas. Huh? Say Rick with bananas. <laughs> I said Rick Mananis. Oh. That's his name. I think I'm spelling it, saying it right. Anyway, and I started watching him way before I heard the word mukbang. Mukbang, it come out of Korea, or I think uh, one of the Asian countries, and there was this small little girl, little woman, I don't know what they said, 26, I don't know what, how old she was, but anyway, she was sitting there, she went to the restaurant, and she had eight bowls of rice and beef, and a couple other things there, and she ate all those, uh, all those bowls of the beef, rice, beef, rice, and, uh, and uh, two liters of water in that little stomach, little body. And she was trim, so well, some people say that some of the mukbangers that are slim, that they, there's a trick that they just make it look like it goes to their mouth and in their mouth and then they must cut the scene or something. And some of them go and throw it up afterwards, and that's dangerous too, but. Anyway, I don't know, but this little one here, yeah, she's, I don't know how many millions of followers she's got on YouTube and TikTok, but anyway, that's the real meaning of mukbang, is eating, sitting in front of your camera, and for others to watch you eating large amounts of food, so I don't know if my big bowl, two pounds of food, if my two pounds of food counts as a large, like mukbang, <laughs> yeah, because he would only eat a quarter, quarter of it, if that. And then he'd be saying, oh, cool. Cool. <coughs> give it here. I used to eat his leftovers. Yeah, you might as well go in and eat yourself a pork chopper. Well, stop it from yeah, they did. I'll try to remember that if I bring them with me. It's because they're they're grabbing it a little bit, but this is plastic on plastic. Yeah, that's yeah, it's got a little roughness to it, so the gloves are... I have to find something else, like, there's a piece of stick there, but. So you're gonna go and eat a pork or pork chop. Yep. There's cabbage and potatoes and carrots and turnip. Do you want all that in your soup? Yep. I'll have to cut the t cabbage quite small. Yeah, we're gonna fit the burns. Or on your spoon. in there. <laughs> I cooked both of the cabbages, by the way. 
it seems mm -hmm. one cabbage seems to go pretty fast anyway because I eat a whole quarter of, of a cabbage in my bowl. All right, well, I'll let you get at it. Okay. Back to the yep. Say see you to the friends. You do. Get a big thumb now. <laughs> <laughs> Later. Love you. Um, they love you too. Back to work. Some of them say, oh, we like it when Richie's on. <laughs> I probably wouldn't have a hundred if it wasn't for you. I got 560. We do. Us and the cats. Right. Love you, babe. Okay, I'm just going to walk home here. Still waiting on our load of wood. Got another person asking for if we sell wood and... I got a messenger back and say the price because I said yes, but the price went up, so I, I got to say the price. Just over in Lockport, Lockport, Nova Scotia, where the high school is. We both went to high school there, but not the same year. And I worked there for many years from pretty well 72 to 89. Had a couple years out of there for working in Shelburne. But, uh, yeah, here I wasn't going to talk. So I could just speed this up. But there, my mouth never shuts. <laughs> okay, well, I should open this door up and to the van. If I can remember to close it before it rains tomorrow. Oh, there's his jacket. Okay. There's only mama coming. Here comes mommy. Yeah, I gotta do it one foot at a time. One foot at a time. Okay. It's mama. It's mommy. Callie's gonna have to, uh, Messi's gonna have to move because I gotta make the bead. Hi, girls. Hello, I'm over here. Thank you. Do you guys talk to inanimate things or things that aren't alive <laughs> like I do? Put them in there so I don't smell the material they're made from. See Missy? Ah, somebody had a hairball in the middle of the kitchen. Be right back.
Hello. I'm over here. What color earrings will I wear today? I'll choose yellow, but it's caught in a, in a bracelet. Got it. Where's the other one? I got these years ago. Maybe 12 years ago now. 11 or 12 or 13. From my niece, she was selling jewelry out in Cal uh, not Calgary, but on Alberta. Sorry, get going. Good girl. <laughs> that was me knocking Missy off so I can make the bed. Here's the flashlight. Mm. I'm soon taking the electric blanket off. I'm still not using it, but it's chilly enough for the have the two blankets on the bed. Yeah. With the computer on. Gee, yeah, that used to be the first thing I did. Computer. Ah, it's warm. Excuse my back. It's warm in here. It was cold last night for his ice again, I think. So. Okay, you can come back now. Ha, she'd come anyway. Before I told her she could. It's okay. Oh. I'm going to put fresh water in this. Had to change batteries in this in uh, three, two, three o'clock this morning. Yeah, it wouldn't work. So, all the batteries are in the bedroom. So, I took the battery out of this. <laughs> Rob Peter to pay Paul. That's what we always used to say. Thank you, friends, for hanging out with us. See you in the next one, Lord willing.